Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, and if you're new, welcome to my channel. Today's video is going to be very, very simple, and honestly, this argument is just completely laughable. As you guys know, I am a Christian, and dealing with the pro-abortion movement, people tend to usually go to the Bible thinking it's going to help their case in being pro-choice and a lot of their arguments are saying oh well the bible is pro-choice so you should be pro-choice god allows abortions blah 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 and this passage that i'm going to read and refute that it's a quote unquote pro-abortion passage um it's just going to make my point and show you guys how actually ridiculous and stupid the pro-abortion movement is so without further ado do Let's get started. So the argument usually tends to go like this. Hey, Chloe, you're Christian, correct? And I would say, yes, I am Christian. I am a proud Christian. And then they would say, well, you know, the Bible actually says that life begins at first breath. Life doesn't begin at conception. And then I would say, oh, really? Where does it say life begins at first breath, uh, Mr. or Miss Pro-Choicer? You would never guess what passage they quote. They say, go to Genesis 2-7. Let's read Genesis 2-7. Genesis 2-7 states, then the Lord God formed man from the dust of the ground and breathed into his nostrils the breath of life, and the man became a living being. You see? See? Life begins at first breath, and God breathed into his nostrils the breath of life. You see? I'm not kidding. That's their argument. So, it's laughable. I would answer this in a couple ways and i want to show you guys how and why i would answer it in the way i answer it so let's get into the rebuttal shall we so the argument is that life begins at first breath first of all it doesn't say that in the scripture at all it says then the lord god formed a man from the dust of the ground and breathed into his nostrils the breath of life and the man became a living being so adam and we all know in genesis is the first man Genesis, um, the first book of the Bible, is all about creation, and you have the days of creation in the Bible. God's creating everything from scratch. First thing I ask, okay, so do you believe the Bible is true? Since you're quoting the Bible, do you believe in it? They would say, no, 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 but you believe it. Okay, no problem. The next question I would ask is, does Adam have parents? They would say, no, Adam is the first human being. Oh, really? So Adam's life couldn't have begun at conception because Adam was never conceived. As it says in the verse itself, then the Lord God formed man from the dust of the ground. So God formed him from ground. God created him. Even though we also believe God knits in, the, in our mother's wombs, as Psalms 139 says, we believe that as well. But the first man God created him from the dust of the ground. So God's creating. So conception can't take place since Adam has no parents. And he breathed into his nostrils the breath of life and the man became a living being. So it doesn't say that life begins when Adam first breathed his first breath. So there's that argument debunked right then and there. You can close the book, close uh, the Bible and say you're refuted. But it says God's breath of life. God blew the breath of life into Adam. And then he became a living being. So it was the God's breath of life that made Adam become alive and a living being. It's not the fact that Adam breathed, life begins at first breath, because that's not in the text. I have the scripture right here that's nowhere in the text. So I found it very interesting and I just felt like it, it's something that I needed to make an entire video about because this claim from the Bible is just so laughable. I did a lot of videos responding to numbers five about what they think is pro-abortion arguments. 
and they're trying to fit abortion into the Bible when the Bible is not pro-abortion. Especially for me, um, I can go outside of the Bible and point to the Didache and point to early church fathers and saints um, who literally condemn abortion as murder. So to try to go fit abortion into the Bible, I'm sorry, it's just not going to work, period. Like Christianity is a pro-life religion. So yeah, that is how you would refute Genesis 2 verse 7. I hope you guys find this helpful. And if you ever come against a pro-abortioner who says life begins at first breath, look, your Bible says so, Genesis 2 7. Hopefully you guys know how to answer and respond to it now. And I'm so thankful for you guys. Remember that Jesus is Lord and abortion is murder. We'll see you in the next video. Peace out. Thank mm -hmm. you.